um, sorry about all that. I've been having some technical difficulty, but uh, I think I'm back. So let's start over. Welcome, guys, to another week of Tyler Football Edition. Football, the game that Americans love. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> um, but before we did, I did the Tyler Football and the winning and the losing and the tie. Let talk a little bit about my channel. Now, I'm, uh, I know I missed two weeks. Um, I've been busy and just had no time. I know that's not an issue, but I'm back and I'm back no better. And I'm back to bringing you more epic content, epic video. Just stay tuned. And you know how you can stay tuned? Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn it from red, turn it from red to gray. Hit that bell notification so you know, so you know, so you can get notified when I'm posting a video, most of the time of week. So you won't miss out when I up release one. Because you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos for the next couple months. Because they're gonna be um, epic, some dope and awesome video that might make you laugh and might make you want to watch it over and over then. So, before we get on to today's video, make sure you do those, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, give this video a big thumb up, and I want you guys to leave a comment of what made you happy today. Or what made you proud of? What were you proud of today? Um, and what you comment about that? Leave another comment below of any video ideas you want me to film or add to my list of ideas to show you that. Because I I want this channel to be interactive. I want. And I'm, I'm even thinking about doing some live stream someday. I haven't decided when the first one's going to be, but I will let you know. And you will know when I would do live stream if you follow me on Instagram. The, my link will be in the description below. Because I will post there and tell you when I'm going to do live. So you guys can stay tuned. Um, and... Just sit back and relax and enjoy the wide of epic video. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's get back to college football because that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about some college football. So, if you look here, how many people here like to watch? college football better than NFL football. If you do, give this video a big thumb up and leave a comment of your favorite college football team. You all know who mine is, so I'm not even going to say it. Alright. For episode, I think we're on episode 5, right? Did I miss two weeks? Episode 5? Alright. The first game of the weekend for any football in USF and Tula. Tula? Tula? Huh. I never heard of it. And uh, keep on going. So this matchup, I don't know anything about both of the teams to be honest. Um, I seen bit and pieces, but I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a close day. Um, honestly, from right now, I cannot predict the winner because I don't think there won't be a winner. I think it's gonna be that close. Ended up in a tie. 
Uh, the next team on the return of Tyler football is Colorado and USD, University of South Carolina. All right, boys and girls, this game is gonna be some, it's gonna be some good one. Um, I honestly, I just watched the highlight video from last week of Colorado, and damn, they are, they look good on defense. So I'm going to hand the W off to Colorado. Not just because they're 5-0. Oh, that's not the reason. I mean, it's more than that. They know how to move that ball. They know how to move that line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. And that's a good damn football team if you tell me that. That's how you play football. Moving the line of scrimmage. Alright. The next thing is Win Thompson. And Michigan. Uh, this one, it's gonna be a slow team. It could even be the best team of the week, then, actually. Putting it right here, it's gonna be the best week team of the week, then. Um, but if I had to pick a winner, I might have to just go with uh, Mich Michigan just because of how their leader. And how they're toast? They they are toast pretty well. Like their head toast. Obviously, we all know he's from NFL. He was the 49er head toast for like five years, I think. And damn, he he came to Michigan and and making a difference. He he know how the toast will die. He is definitely their main coach for who knows how long. Maybe his whole life. And he focuses on defense. He's a defensive coach. And their defense is solid. So I, I pick, uh, I'm going to be picking Michigan on this win. Um, but I'm, I am going to say, because this is going to be the best game of the weekend, that. It's going to be a slow win. It's not going to be a blowout win by Michigan, a blowout win by Win Thompson. It's going to be a slow, nail biter to the end win for Michigan. The next thing we got UCF and Memphis. Um, this one, again, have them. It could be a slow game. It's going to probably be a low throwing game. Um, both of these teams have somewhat of a good offense. And the other one have a good defense. So it's going to be a low throwing game. Not a lot of points thrown. Maybe a lot of field goal. Three points. Uh, if lucky, you might be like two or three touchdowns. But I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be mostly field though, and I'm going to probably go with, I'm going to probably say Memphis out of here. They're, they're, they are a football team from the, from the South, and you know the football team from the South, they don't mess around. They go out there and they show up. They play like the, it's their last football game of the day, the day <laughs> which is pretty much it. Because after the football game, what do you do? You go home. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> uh, Alright. The next one. Oh, I, I like this next one. I do. Uh, Baylor and Texas. Um, I hate to say it, but uh, Baylor's going to win this one. Um, I'm going to say Baylor's going to win by like 10 points at least. Because Baylor have a great quarterback, maybe a properly quarterback that would go in the first round of the NFL draft pick. And their defense is uh, it's average. It doesn't get the job done. So I would say Baylor. The next one is South Carolina and AM and AM. Texas AM. Uh, this is going to be a 
this team is going to be a fighter. Both of these teams are fighters. They both don't want to lose. They both want to win. And when you have two teams like this, anything can happen. Maybe a lot of penalty. Um, maybe some brawl. Players don't add it because they don't like it at all or whatever. You, you can probably see a lot of stuff from there. So that might be another thing for you guys to pay attention to. Is Texas AM and South Carolina. But uh, it's gonna be a nail biter and it's gonna be a dirty, dirty game. Uh, just tell me that. Alright, the next game is Georgia and LSU. This game was the talk of the week. Everybody was talking about this game, saying it's a dough either way. I agree, it's a dough either way. But personally, me, um, I'm not a big fan of Georgia, and I don't really like their football team or their atmosphere. I would rather see LSU win, and just by looking back on what LSU do every single season, and they can win the game if they show up. If they show up. They don't do that team. They walk on that field. They show up. They they will take the home the W. So I'm picking LSU for that one. Oh, okay. This one this one is gonna be the a male's favorite right here because it's Pitt and Notre Dame. Notre Dame and America's favorite football team in college. Um, it's just. If you go back in years, go back in history, Notre Dame was the first team that Milton was fans of, and they branch out from there. So this game, every single year, it doesn't matter if they play once, if they play twice in the season, every time they play each other, and they play each other every single season, it's always a nail biter to the very last destiny. Like, you cannot predict this game. It's a go either way. These teams are just phenomenal. They know how to stay in the game. They don't let one team go 50, 15 points ahead. They know what they're doing, and that's good. That's good damn football. And those type of games are what us fans want to watch. You don't want to see a blowout game, or depending on if you how you want to watch it. Because we all know my favorite team, we blow out all our opponents. I'm sorry, but we do. But I watch it for the player. Um, I watch it for my QB. I want that QB on my NFL football team. Like I want that guy. I don't want no one. I don't want him to throw it to any other team except for my NFL team. Um, they're wide receiver. Like, I can get t t picked up my college football team and drop it in my NFL football team and we'll be golden. We'll be out there fighting every single second of the game. And I'm pretty sure you all can definitely it in. It's Wu Tai! Alabama, Walter, Ben Al, you know, all those things. Walter! And, uh, without even telling you who they're playing, I'm gonna say right here, they're gonna win. And they're gonna have another week of a blowout. It's just saying, they will. Go to work, to work, to work, to work. Alright, so that's the game that I want to see. Alright, now it's time Alright, the next game of the weekend in Minnesota for Ohio State. Alright, this game, to go either way. It could be an upset, it could be a nail biter, or it could be a blowout. Probably me and how Ohio State plays every day we, they don't mess around. They do not, they're like Alabama, they do not mess around. Ohio State have a good damn defense every single year. Every year. Whatever they do, 
they have a good defense. So, I'm going to be picking Ohio State. Uh, Friday by 20 point. 20 point, Ohio State. Let's go on to the next game of the weekend. We got Vanderbilt and Florida. Ooh. This one's going to be interesting. This one is going to be interesting. Hmm. What is Thomas going to pick? What is he going to be there? Of the team? I don't know. I don't know. I think that, I don't know. Oh. Uh. I think I got a, uh. Just knowing how Florida football play. They're taller team. They don't mess around. Maybe because they're from the south. And they got that warm sunshine going on the face. Everything that I want. <laughs> hint, hint. Uh, all right. And if the Florida they do, you, you can't hmm. not go and tell the Florida they do they're not winning. Florida they do, it's probably the best fo college football in Florida. In the state of Florida, it's probably they do. Um, so. Just by knowing that, and knowing about their defense, uh, they often need a little work, but their defense is all right. I'm going to say Florida State is going to win, but not by much. They're only going to win by 10 points. That's not a lot compared to some college football team who blow out their opponent. There, there's a couple of other college football team that don't blow out their opponent. Which is not even a football game anymore. So I'm gonna pick Florida Dado. Jaham. Alright, this next one. If you live in the state of Alabama, I know who you're gonna be picking if you're not an Alabama fan. But if you if you don't live in the state of Alabama, you could pick the other team. Uh, this team is the Tennessee. Both did Auburn, and Auburn is actually pretty damn good. They had a bad game two weeks ago, probably the worst game of their season. But other than that, they are consistent, and they do come on, and they have a pretty good record every single season. Um, their defense needs a little help, but their offense is solid. Um, so, with their opponent this week in Tennessee, knowing what Tennessee done on defense, but not on offense, I just see there's going to be a lot of turnover, maybe two or three, and I, I think Tennessee's going to have their defense help their team get the W this week, so... I'm going to be pitching Tennessee. Normally I would go with Auburn, but just knowing that they're playing Tennessee, I think I'm pitching Tennessee. Alright, this next game, I like this next game a lot. Um, it could be a blowout game, if you tell me, but also I'm thinking it's going to be a good game. It's UVA, so it's Virginia, Virginia versus Miami. Um, I know a lot of people and a lot of reporters would pick Miami, but I'm not like other uh, reporters, and I I know a lot I know a lot about football. That's why I do the video. So for this team right here, I had to say it, but I'm gonna pick Virginia. Um, just by how they are playing. They're playing some damn good football on both sides of the ball. Uh, not, not as good as Alabama, I would say, but maybe a step down from that, maybe two steps down from that, but I think they can pull off a win with Miami. Sorry, Miami fan, but I think Virginia's going to take the win, take the W in the bad, and Forever at home. Alright, this next game. 
it's probably gonna be a a good day to watch. Um, it's definitely gonna be a good day to watch. Iowa State versus West Virginia. This game can go either way. Uh, this I can't really pick a winner or loser. This game is just gonna go like that. Um, and I can say that there might be some turnover on both sides of the ball. Um, that that's gonna help either team get them point and win. But if I if I had to pick a winner in this tight nail biter game, I would probably say it's gonna be West Virginia, but only by three points. Maybe even by a point. They're not winning by a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna say West Virginia. Probably just a tad sitting the W just a tad over Iowa State. But Iowa State is dirty. They play dirty people. Alright, I saved the last thing for the back. You all know who that name is. Um it's my team. We all know who I'm gonna be pitting because I said it earlier in the video if you paid attention. If you haven't, go back. Um Is there anything I had to talk about with my team? Not really. Actually, maybe that's one thing I can talk about. Go to what? To what? To what? To what? Whoa, Ty! Whoa, Ty! I hope you guys enjoyed my prediction. I know from the first three video I posted about it, you guys have been liking it a lot and you want more and more every single week. Guess what? These type of videos are going to be live on Friday. I don't know what time yet, but. Live on Friday. Everything the Friday, these videos will be coming out. And. And then you can watch it. Right before you watch them. Tell football on Saturday morning. Uh, oh man. Uh, I love doing these things for you guys. I love filming. Blogging. Giving you guys some content to watch. Making you feel good about yourself. Um, so, where were we? Alright, we gotta slow down the video. We can't just leave you guys hanging. Alright. So, how I'm gonna do this is, um, let's see, what should you die comment below now after you watch? the video hmm all right leave a comment below what game are you going to be paying attention to on Saturday you all know who I'm going to be pay paying attention to Alabama will tie but I am going to be paying attention to those close names that I mentioned which was Iowa State Notre Dame because who's not who's not going to be watching those close names all right so let me do, let me know down below what game you're gonna be paying attention to, and what team is your favorite. Tell me down below. All right, die. I hope you die enjoyed the video, and I hope you die are getting excited for the next year, the next type of month, the next type of week. With the epic video 
idea I have for you that's coming to you very soon. So, be ready, put your damn face on, and watch some video that you guys might enjoy. Hundreds and hundreds of video ideas I have for you guys. I'm doing it for you to make people happy. All right. Before we end this video, I know I can talk all day with you die. I can talk all day with you die. You die want me to do that? I can do a video of talking you all day. Let me know below if you want that. Maybe a 24 hours video? I can do that too. Um, all right. Remember to enjoy the little thing in life, die. Life in die. Enjoy the little thing in life. Don't take them for granted. Go out there and shake your dream. Shake your passion. Find who you are and who you're supposed to be. God didn't made us to just live on the earth. He made us to make an impact on the earth. And I found what I should be doing. I need to be making some video I need to be sending out some positive vibe to you die. Doing all the epic video. So, with that, peace out. But not for long. Not forever. I'll be back. I will be back. I will be back. With another epic video for you because. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, Dai. It was a fun hanging out with you, Dai. But it, I need to uh, end the video. So I can get it out for you, Dai. So you guys can watch it. So, peace out. Bye. <laughs>